What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay back up in this mug. If you appreciate the Commissar Kane series from Black Library, if you just like playing Astro Militarum and are always looking for new and amazing models to add to your collection, allow me to make this recommendation. It is the Loyalty Bundle, Hero, Commissar, and Aid. But really, I mean, it's Commissar Kane and his servant or aide, uh, Jurgen. And as you can see, I built this up during a hour long session of hobbying. I also built up a striking scorpion Exar alternative. But if we're just taking a look at this miniature, it's from Artel W and it is all resin. You can see I'm clipping away some extra flash there, adding a little bit of super glue to put the legs onto the torso piece. And they fit really nicely because the back of the legs have a little um, gap where there is a little piece of resin that slots into. This is where I had a little bit of difficulty because I wasn't sure where to put the uh, hand so that it wouldn't interfere with the chain sword. If I had been uh, smart about assembling this, I would have saved a picture of the Commissar model completely built up and assembled and put it on the side of my screen there but uh, i wasn't thinking ahead far enough i didn't think i'd have enough time so i'm really just guessing it but there's no extra pieces there's no um strange multi pose positions that you can get your guys mixed up with so really just um, put it together according to the picture how it looks which i'm going to show you at the end of this video and it really is simple once you see that the chain sword there has a little piece in it that slots into a gap at his waist and if i had just trusted that as a guide and not tried to uh, finagle it myself then i would have been able to figure it out a lot sooner but as a result because i thought i had to slot in the arm a certain way it looks like the plate his little saucer that he's holding in his left hand is a little bit crooked. I might, I mean, this thing is so cheap compared to the Games Workshop figures. For the price of this model, these two models, I could, um, I, I could buy two of them for one plastic commissar from Games Workshop. So I might just buy another one and get, get the angle right just to have two of these in my army. The other alternative way that you could build up Jurgen is to have his arm resting on a las gun rather than a Melta, but as a huge fan of the books, I mean, the Melta gun is such a part of Jurgen's character that I really wanted to have him resting his arm on the Melta, because that's the way I see it. Okay, and once I had the arms into position, just a little dollop of super glue for his head and uh, my big oafish fingers trying to hold on to the <laughs> tiny headpiece uh, correctly there. We get it uh, put on straight and because of the way it slots in you can really turn and angle his head in a variety of different ways you could have him looking straight forward which i do you could have him kind of looking over his right shoulder a little bit which is what the artwork makes it uh, seem like either way whichever way you want to do it it's totally fine i like to use a super glue accelerator when i'm working with resin and i put a link down below in the description it's for an amazon affiliate link so you can see it really helps speed up the process Especially if you're working with a super thin super glue that uh, doesn't dry as quickly as you'd like it to. If you trust your uh, trust your technique to push the pieces together and have them end up at a certain way that the way that you want, then just spray on some super glue accelerator there, and it speeds up the process immensely, which is great for these uh, long grindy nights of assembling resin pieces. So now that the commissar is built up, we've got his aid the uh, always phlegmatic Jürgen and uh, he's really simple to put together because his head is already attached uh, his torso is only missing I believe um, his backpack and his arms so I mean it's it, very very simple what's funny is that his left arm is situated so that he's holding the plate with the little thermos of tea and a little sandwich on it but um, yeah you, you <laughs> His arm is like just held out with the hand held flat. It's very funny. And then there's a little uh, pouch for his hip, uh, a tiny little double pouch, which uh, if you're not careful and you're not really paying attention to the pieces in the bag, you might think is just a piece of flash and throw away. So always double check the pieces that come in these baggies. RTLW miniatures, when you make an order from them, they will bag up your miniatures in these tiny little plastic baggies and uh, you want to make sure that you double check each of those baggies so that you have everything you need for that miniature. 
it's really simple though because imagine if i had ordered these two miniatures and all of the pieces came uh, in one big bag it'd be a mess with two little 25 millimeter round bases so uh, very very appreciative to them for separating the models so that every packet has everything you need the only cleanup like i said for both of these models and for any of the artel w miniatures that you get is that th some of them pieces will have little bits of flash where you can see the um uh, the machine had cut them so you always want to go in with your your clippers and your hobby knife just clean them up a little bit and uh, that'll be a big help so as we're finishing up with this Jurgen piece i do want to mention that i am an affiliate of artel w miniatures so if you decide to click the link below if what you see is really appealing to you and you do end up purchasing it then i will be earning a small commission for my studio so i appreciate that and uh, yeah i'm a huge fan of the commissar kane series back when i was reading eisenhorn and ravener uh, and i wanted something just a little bit lighter still set in the warhammer 40k universe but something a little bit more tongue-in-cheek that uh, played with the ideas of heroism and uh, courage and bravery in a very uh, smart and funny way the commissar kane series always made me laugh it always put a smile on my face all the crazy situations he would find himself in and then uh either knowingly or unwittingly get himself out of through sheer luck and uh, happenstance so i highly suggest it go and pick up those books the commissar kane series caiaphas kane it's just a fantastic read but okay if you're going to be using these in your astro militarum army speaking now, practically, for all of you who actually play Warhammer 40k, you could use this as a commissar figure. He's got a chainsword, uh, he's got a pistol in his belt, which we don't see what it is, so it could really be anything. He's just standing there drinking his tea, and uh, that's perfectly fine with me. And for Jürgen, you can use him because I don't believe commissar commissars in the rules have uh, aids. You could have Jürgen be a melted trooper in your platoon command squad. Or just a specialist weapons melta gunner just one more to add to your um to your army because meltas i mean as we all know they're uh, they're at a premium everybody loves using them so having an interesting looking melta figure is always fun and here it is so thank you so much for uh, checking out this video i've included the links below where you could pick up this bundle for uh both the commissar model as well as the aid and uh, i just really love these figures i love the way they come together i love how clean they look all of the sculpts from artel w that i've taken a look at over the past couple of nights have been so so well done and uh, i really really enjoy putting them together and running through my head what kind of color schemes i can go with them here we go the loyalty bundle heroic commissar 2.0 and his aid 28 dollars. yeah so like i said if you uh, were to get one or two of these it would be comparable to purchasing a clamshell of a comet so i think it'd be a little bit more expensive but uh seriously you, you can't go wrong with getting two commissars and two melted gunners for a little bit more than the price of a plastic commissar kit from games workshop and here they are commissar caiaphas kane and jurgen sipping on tea looking at all their good works thanks for watching everybody i hope you join up at the uh, discord i put a link down below that for uh, all, all of you who aren't a part of that either just click the like button leave me a comment before you go really appreciate it special thanks to my patrons who are keeping me going mr sprinkle dicey guy play it painted picks land of mert and mr secondaries and thank you for watching this video we'll see you in the next one